Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we're checking out another brand new car in the FH5 Hot Wheels expansion. Today I wanted to check out a very, very cool car coming to the expansion. This car you have to be in the expert rank in the Hot Wheels expansion to unlock it. And that is this thing. This is the Chevy Coppo Camaro. A drag racing Camaro with wheelie bars, a massive V8 engine. Anyways, the way we unlock this thing is by completing the outside inside mission. So complete the forest edge and the horizon nexus speed traps within one minute and 30 seconds in an S1 class car. So if I open up my map, speed trap number one is all the way over here. And then speed trap number two is all the way back at the horizon festival. It is a Long, long distance to go through. Uh, I would really appreciate some extra speed right about now. There we go. 200 and something miles an hour. I have got one star. Now take this corner as fast as we can. We've actually got loads of time for this one. 210 miles an hour. We're dropping speed. Come on, give me that speed. Give me the speed as we go up the hill. There we go. There we go. Boost me. Boost me. Boost me! I'm out of gears. A couple hundred yards! And we got him. Thank you very much. So this is the Hot Wheels Copo Camaro. And oh my god, it looks so cool. So bone stock, it's the middle of S1 class with 1,100 horsepower, 850 foot-pounds of torque. It does weigh a little bit considering it's like an all-out drag car, but... I want to see how it actually feels to drive. So look at that parachute on the rear with the drag wheelie bars. I love those rims as well. Those look so sick. So if I actually just rev it up, we've got launch control. Launch control, no wheelie. If I fully rev it out and then just go, little bit of a wheelie, not much though. So as per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the Copo Camaro. Probably the coolest Camaro we've ever had in a Forza game, if I'm honest. Right out of the gate, I don't actually know if this thing is on drag racing tires, Bone Stop. No, it's on drag racing tires. It doesn't do corners. I probably should have expected that if I'm honest. We've also only got three gears bone stock. This thing is built for the quarter mile and nothing else. What makes this Copo Camaro so special is it's actually that, a Copo Camaro, which I'm not gonna lie, it stands for the most nerdy car abbreviation I think I've ever heard. It stands for the Central Office Production Order. I mean, they're not exactly cheap. You can find these Camaros, I mean, depending on the year and all sorts of stuff like that, anywhere from like 70 to 80,000 bucks on the top end to nearly 250,000 bucks. They are, they are not cheap. And I mean, for that 250,000 bucks, if that's what you want to spend on one of these things, you do actually get quite a bit of car for your money. Like, all of the upgrades to the engine to make it absurdly powerful. You've got enormous drag racing tires. And I mean, this one has a parachute and wheelie bars on the back. They are just so goddamn cool. I mean, I don't really recommend taking it to a race course, especially if your race course is made of hot wheels tracks, but we should take this thing back for a quarter mile drag strip and give it a go. This is day 214 of asking the developers for a proper quarter mile drag strip. I made one so you don't have to. There is the share code if you'd like to try it out for yourself. Let's give it a go. I've got traction control off. I've got manual on. Let's see what this thing can do. And it tries to pop a wheelie off the line. Could this be one of the fastest stock drag cars in the game? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That is insane, an 8.3. I know an 8.3 in terms of like Forza isn't that fast, but that's stock and it's rear wheel. Is that actually the fastest rear wheel drive stock drive? It must be, that must be the fastest stock rear wheel drive drag car I think we've ever had. That is so sick. I kind of messed up first gear there, let it rev out a little bit further. That is insane. It. It doesn't feel that fast, but the amount of grip that it has is just kind of insane. Let's give it one more go. I want to rev out the gears as much as I can, and 
and I'm gonna try turning clutch on to see what happens. For a car like this, turning on clutch might actually make it slower, but let's see. Let it rev out a little bit more. Not terrible. Not terrible. All the way through the gears and... Was that an 8.2? That might have been 8.2. That is awesome. Let's see. No way. No way we can upgrade the horsepower on this thing. Okay. We will come back to that in one second. We have engine swap. I'm just going to rev these up and let's see what they are and what they sound like. No goddamn way. We've got the monster truck engine that we can swap into this, an 8.9 liter V8, or the Funko Motorsports engine with nearly 1,800 horsepower. Remember what I said how this might be the fastest rear wheel drive drag car? This is definitely the fastest rear wheel drive drag car. That is insane. Before we get into those, I do want to try this thing with the stock engine though. Anyways, in terms of our aero, we can actually met. Really? <laughs> really? Yes, we are on drag tires bone stock. So we can get semi slicks, horizon semi slicks, the Hot Wheels semi-slicks look really cool. There are the proper slick tires. The drag tires that this thing's actually on are better than the slick tires in terms of like perform- Wait, what? The launch and acceleration is a 10 on 10. That's kind of expected considering they're drag racing tires. But look at the handling, a 5.3. If I go to toss on the full slick tires, that only goes to a 4.9. What are these tires? I have no idea what these are, but- at least according to the stats, these destroy the slick tires. It's the same for the braking as well. Anyways, I'm going to leave those the way they are. I can upgrade the front tires if I wanted to and go all the way up to 295. This as an all-wheel drive drag car is going to be scary. And let's go for some upgraded brakes. That actually saves some weight as well and is... Maybe, maybe, maybe we won't need to launch the parachute. We're also going to go for some rally suspension. That way we can tune our suspension a little bit more and some weight reduction. We can remove 300 pounds out of this thing. This thing's going to be scary. And if we get all of our engine upgrades, whoa, whoa, this thing is going to be scary fast. 1,465 horsepower with the stock engine. That's just crazy. What paint jobs does this have? Oh, uh, so the only stock paint job that it has is this one, but it does have advanced paint groups. So group number one is that, and group number two is the big stripe. Yo, that's pretty cool. Okay. Without a doubt, this is going to be the new fastest drag car. We don't even have the best engine in this thing just yet, but let's give it a go again and see what it's got. Jeez. Jeez, look at that red line. It's non-existent. Get to the line. That We just went a second faster. That's a 7.3. Wow. I just, I can't believe how fast this thing is. Whoa! In rear wheel drive, uh, that was unintentional. I didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that was insane. Attempt number three. Hopefully we won't do a wheelie this time, but... This thing is, yep, this thing is so powerful. It just, it just kind of wants to do it. It's, you, you can't really help it. How are our gears? Our gears I could shorten a little bit. Okay. You know, I've never had a problem with a drag car before where I was trying to get a good speed and accidentally kept wheelie. Come on, Camaro. Very nicely out of first gear, please. There we go. That was better. That was better. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think that might have been my fa- all right, so uh, 7.324. So you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to push this thing all the way to the limit. How fast can you make a Copo Camaro 1,750 horsepower and all-wheel drive? I think it's pretty safe to say that this thing is about to break some records. All right, 0 to 60 in 0.7 seconds. This thing is such a monster, though. Like, I know I'm already going to need to fix all of my gear ratios with this thing. I'm probably going to want to run a four-speed transmission, if I'm honest. How fast was that? That was lightning quick. A 7.2. Not actually that much faster than we were with rear wheel drive. Okay, 
Let me fix up the tuning now that we kind of know what we're up to. Get me a 7.1. This thing is crazy. First gear still a little bit short. Get to the line, get to the line. I think if I fix up those gear ratios, that's an easy 7.1. Lol JK, that's already a 7.1. I made my first gear a little bit longer to try to give me a little bit more time to actually shift through first. There we go. That was really nice. Yo, this is gonna be fast. This is gonna be fast. That's gonna be so smooth. I think that was a 7.0. Just with a little bit. Yes! Okay. Uh, I think I have to go for a 6.9, right? Just for the memes. I want to drive on the same drag strip, but this time it's 0.6 of a mile, nearly a kilometer. My best time I have ever got out here is a 12.0. I don't know if this thing's actually fast enough. The car that I have my record with is actually the Lamborghini Diablo GTR. It's super lightweight. It's also running an ACS tune. I, I don't know if this thing's actually going to be able to take it down. Actually, this thing only has four gears, so uh, I'm about to hit a big wall. Big wall. Oh, it actually does have five gear. Nope, <laughs> nope, it only has five. <laughs> There we go, across the line, how'd I do? Yo, that's a 12.5 and I missed an entire gear, okay. Even as fast as this thing is with the absurd tires that it's got, the Diablo's just so much lighter, it just, it just walks on it. It's kind of not even close, if I'm honest. Like, get to the line, still trying to get to the line. I don't know, it's just... It's not a slow car, the Capo Camaro, but it's not. I don't actually think it's the fastest drag car, which is kind of sad. I guess technically it's not a bad thing if this isn't the fastest drag car, because if you wanted it, you'd have to buy the Hot Wheels expansion. So I get, I guess thinking about it that way, it's not a bad thing, but I was kind of hoping the fastest drag car in the game would have actually been a, a drag car. You know what? I kind of like the idea of rocking this thing with 1,750 horsepower. I'm gonna remove my parachute, considering I'm gonna actually be taking some corners this time. And let's also go for, you know what, again, Hot Wheels semi-slick tires. I like that. Other than that, actually, we've already got all the upgrades. Okay. Let's go, Camaro. We are gonna need to absolutely send it in this thing. Oh my God, look at the cars we're going up against. We're going up against some proper race cars and the drag racing beetle, yes! You love to see it. All right, let's go see if this thing is any good in the corners. You can actually feel it does weigh a lot. Like, even though it's a stripped down lightweight Camaro, a Camaro is still a Camaro and is still rather large and rather heavy. To make this thing truly competitive, especially going up against the Diablo in drag racing, it would need to be like two and a half thousand pounds. Maybe even less than that. Like the Diablo sub 2,000 pounds. So yeah. If you were able to use like the rally tires and drop the class down, then I think this thing, you might actually be able to take it online. But other than that, I'm not sure if it's that like, oh, oh, hyper competitive. As much as I try to tune out all of the understeer, again, big heavy Camaro is big heavy Camaro. You can only tune out so much understeer. I mean, what is nice about this car is if there is somebody in front of you who is bothering you, you can use all of that horsepower to almost reel them in. All right, well, Copo Camaro has drift suspension. I think it's time we put this thing sideways. So, okay, if I'm actually gonna take this thing drifting, let's get some drift suspension on. What does that do to our PI? That actually raises our PI. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll actually get the weight reduction removed for this thing to make it a little bit heavier because I think I want this thing to be in S1 class. I think I'm also going to remove that big ol' engine and... Oh, do I want it to be all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? Probably rear-wheel drive if I'm going to make like an authentic drift car. And then you know what? Let's upgrade our cams. Then we've got one, two, three, four horsepower. So I haven't actually tried to drift around the Hot Wheels map just yet, so... Why don't we give it a go? Drift zones. I have one drift zone over there. Okay, no, I've got one, two, I've got three. Whoa, the drift zone starts all the way at the top of the, like, festival. Okay, so let's come into the zone, absolutely send it through. I find it really difficult to drift on the Hot Wheels tracks, as you might have noticed. I had a similar problem in 
Forza Horizon 3's Hot Wheels expansion, but let's see. Can I get 125k? I can. Thank you very much. 134k. Thank you for the three stars. Looking good. Again, I don't know what score I need to get, so I'm just going to enter the zone and send it. Oh, this zone looks a lot better, actually. This zone looks way more normal, if that makes sense. This was an all-wheel drive car. Would be insane, this drift zone. Whoa. Whoa. I might have... Whoa, I'm drifting, like, with black smoke. This might actually be my favorite drift zone I've done on the Hot Wheels expansion so far. It doesn't have any crazy, like, angle to the actual circuit or, like, camber to the circuit. That's just a really, really nice drift zone. 168,000. Oh, there's the interior, by the way. Didn't even jump into that. Three stars again. Thank you. Is the game about to yell at me? No. No, it's not. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Probably going into the boost pad like that. Probably not the best idea, so let's go. Send it through little Camaro. I shouldn't say little Camaro. Big Camaro. Go. This one is also really nice. This downhill section is fantastic. With the waterfall, that looks sick. Okay, we're already on 170,000 points. This is going to be 200,000. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. This Camaro. This Camaro is actually way better at drifting than I was expecting. That is another new personal best. And it's three stars. That, though, is where I'm going to wrap this up. That is the Copo Camaro. A really, really fun drag car and an even better drift car. Super, super fun car. Go and check it out on my quarter mile drag strip. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more Hot Wheels cars. I'll see you soon with some of those. See you then. Bye.